Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Cooper back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Tops or Spawns about a huge error in their latest release. I have everything you need to know up to date and everything like that with the latest error from Tops. And we'll talk about that in just one minute. But before we do that, thank you guys so much for joining today's video. Can we get 100 likes on this video? It literally takes you no more than a singular second to hit that like button. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Secondly, I am doing a giveaway. I am giving away Hobby Packs of 2023 Top Series 1. How do you win? Be subscribed publicly. If you don't know how to do that, it's a setting in your settings you turn on to make your subscriptions public. Like this video. Turn on post notifications. And comment what you're most looking forward to in the 2023 MLB season. I will pick a winner once I hit 6,000 subscribers on the channel. What should hopefully be around the time when Series 1 does indeed drop. And one last thing. I will be at the Boardman, Ohio Southern Park Mall card show tomorrow. It started today. So if you're in the area, stop by. It's free. I will be there tomorrow afternoon. And how will you know it's me? I'll be wearing the Grip and Rip logo on my shirt. And I have black and yellow Jordan Air Force Ones I will be wearing. So if you see a, a guy with long hair and a Grip and Rip shirt, it is me. So if you're in the area, feel free to stop in. It's absolutely free. First time I'm at this card show, I hear it's pretty big, uh, 50 plus tables every time. And it's, from what I have been told, it's really good. So I am, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to be having a table set up, nothing like that. I'm just, I'm just buying. I'm just going to be looking around. And if any of you guys there notice me, uh, feel free to say hi. So I will be there in Boardman, Ohio, Southern Park Mall. I think it's called Joe's Card Show or something like that. So if you're in the area, feel free to check it out. I'm I'm making the drive. I think it's like 55-ish minutes from my house. So I'm making the drive. So if I can make the drive, if you're in the area, I think you can make the drive. It's all weekend long. If you can't go uh, Saturday, it's today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So hopefully you enjoy it if you're in the area. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video, which I, I must admit, before this video starts, I like to inspire change. And I'm convinced, I'm, I'm, I'm totally convinced now that someone at Tops watches my videos. Because every time I say they need to make a public statement about something, I kid you not, no, no more than two days after a video goes live where I say something like that, they make a statement about it. I swear, this happened now multiple times this year. So someone definitely over at Tops is watching my videos. I hate to toot my own horn, but I like to say someone is because I, I really do think that. So we'll get into it without further ado. So if you've been keeping up the channel all week, I have talked about multiple times in multiple different update videos about a error in Bowman Draft. And might as well, since I have a Bowman Draft box, let's just put it on the screen for just just to show it off, right? And there was a huge problem with Bowman Draft. And what that problem was, was there were blue, sky blue paper parallels that were the same number. So for example, Jordan Walker, the biggest prospect for the Cardinals right now, should be making his debut this year, right? His numbered Sky Blue Parallel, they all said 163 out of 499, or 160 something, I don't remember the exact number, but they all had the exact same first number, which questioned a lot of collectors out there, did Tops print more than 499 Jordan Walker Sky Blue Face Parallels? Which, believe it or not, Tops released a statement about this today. And I'm not going to read the statement in full, but I'm going to sum it up for you guys. So to sum it up, there were 20 players this affected. As you guys know, I said multiple videos. I don't know how many players this affects, but I imagine it's more than a handful, which 
it was 20. All right, so Topps at least had the dignity to actually state how many players this affected. And it said on there that just because the first number were all the same does not affect how many cards were made of that particular parallel, which do we believe them or do we not? Are they covering it up? I don't know. Will we believe them? Well, that's up to you to decide at the end of the day because, you know, how are we going to prove if there's exactly 499 Blaze, or I should say, uh, not Blaze Jordan, but 499 Jordan Walker Sky Blue Parallels out there? How can we ever prove that? And there's 19 other players this could potentially happen to. They didn't give the whole list, but I know from just looking on eBay, Jordan Walker is one of them. Um, but like I said, there could be like, well, there was 19 others confirmed by tops. Now, could there be more than 19 others beside Jordan Walker? Potentially. But again, it's impossible to ever figure that out because in order for someone to figure out if there's exactly 499 blade or I said blaze Jordan again, but sky blue parallels, someone would have to hold them all in their hands at once. And that would literally be impossible because, Right now, of sure, there's a bunch pulled, but like we'll never actually know. And then they went on. They went on to say that there were other parallels. So like you know how like there's other parallels, uh, like blue aquas and everything like that. They said for those particular twenty players, all of the parallels you see on the back here, which we'll I guess zoom in on if you could read that right. They said those twenty particular players all had the same problems for every different parallel of their card. So, you know, like out of 100, out of 99, like out of 10, like, you know, you just never know. So, which brings me to my discussion point of the video. They made a statement about it, which they didn't have to. I even predicted in a video I made, I believe it was last Saturday or Sunday now, right? I, I first mentioned this... I believe, I think it was actually last Sunday's video, I believe. And I said, I don't expect them to make a statement about this. But they actually ended up doing so. Um, you know, this problem really, in the grand scheme of things, really wasn't that big of an issue. But I can understand why people would think it is. Because obviously, if those cards are all numbered the same, you would think potentially there's more out there than just 499. So... I could definitely see why, you know, collectors were upset at that. You know, I can understand. Like, let's say if this was, like, the best prospect. Like, let's say if it was Jackson Holiday or something, and you pulled an out of 10 of him, and let's say he was one of the players that had this problem, and you would want to know, like, hey, is my out of 10 actually out of 10, or is it, like, out of 100, 200, 300, 1,000, you know? So I could see why collectors were upset at this. I totally understand. I didn't actually expect tops make a statement about this so to them actually to make a statement about this actually caught me off guard because like i said this is probably the smallest error they have made this year out of all the different errors they have made obviously the biggest error they probably could have done i mean the fake autograph thing you could you could say it was but the the the, the worst error tops made in 2022 is by far the no short prints in chrome that was, I remember at the time, I like I saw people like talking about it on Facebook and Twitter and on my YouTube comment section, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, there's no way that this actually happened, right? And I was actually like, like baffled, absolutely baffled at the fact that like it was actually legit and they actually like came out and said it, which, you know, of course... If you watched my channel during that time frame, if you didn't, I recommend you do. That is like top tier grip and rip peak performance videos where I just scream. I scream for like 10 minutes straight, 15 minutes straight. I don't even know how long the videos were I made back then. Um, since now I do have more storage on my phone, I could make longer videos. Because back then I was only making like 8 minute, 10 minute videos because I didn't have enough storage on my phone to have the whole video. So now, luckily, I do have a bigger storage plan, so now I could have longer videos. But back then, I was, I remember, if you, like I said, if you didn't watch me, if you're new to the channel, recently subscribed, and didn't watch me, just look up Grip and Rip Sports Cards 
2022 Topps Chrome. And I'm sure you could find my videos where I talk about the missing short prints and the statement they made and everything like that because that was like peak grip and rip YouTube content because that was just, I remember I was just baffled. I went on here, I screamed to the loudest I could. I remember one video, my voice went out at the end because I screamed so loud. Oh, it was insane. I got featured uh, actually on some other YouTube channels. They took clips of that video and inserted it into theirs to, you know, show that like, you know, I was talking about it, which was really cool at the time because at the time I only had like half the amount of subscribers I did now. So, you know, it, it was really cool. But, you know, getting back to the whole Bowman draft error, this is probably the least of their errors this year. Of course, we had the missing or the fake autographs. Missing short prints, which is by far the biggest error they could have done because that was the whole selling point of Chrome. If, if, if they would have made those guys base cards, I don't think anybody would have complained. But if, you know, since they made those short prints and the silver packs, by the way, the silver packs were a complete dud. People were really upset at those this year as well, considering they're all literally base cards. You get some numbered, some autographs, but it was literally just a hobby pack, if you want to be honest with you. It was a normal hobby pack of Bowman or I should say uh, Topps Chrome. That's literally what it was, and no one could tell me otherwise. Um, but like I said, Bowman Draft this is the least amount of their worries, I think. It was nice to them. It was actually nice of them to actually come out and say they made a mistake about this. But like I said, I didn't expect them to. But let's bring up the big elephant in the room. Do you believe Topps? Do you, do you really believe that this is the truth they're saying? Well, I mean, that just leaves it up to you. I mean... Do I believe it? I mean, yeah, because I think this error is just a computerized error. And I think the computer would have recognized only make 499 of them. But like I said, I, I, I really don't know how they do these numbered cards. I don't know if it's like a machine that reads like the lasers and like reads like the laser reads the the um numbering on the card i don't know how it works i don't work in a factory for tops or panini so i have no idea how the numbering process works but you know i would imagine that it's set on the computer someone set it to only make 499 of them so i'd like to think that's what happened but at the end of the day it's all up to you whether or not you want to believe them do i believe it probably i mean i probably think they're telling the truth on this one I would think that they would be forced to. I don't think they would ever lie about something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But at least they didn't lie about the missing short prints in, in Chrome because, you know, clearly they weren't in there. Uh, so they could have easily just said that they were in there and no one found one. But, you know, I guess it was proven at that point because there was like, if you remember that time frame, like a whole week after Chrome came out and like no one found a short print of any of them, which then brought up all the the flags, like, oh, yeah, like, there's something actually wrong with this release. So, you know, to wrap up this video before getting into some packs of uh, update, I really didn't expect them to come out about this with this statement. And like I said in the open, I really I really do think someone over at Tops is watching my videos because I literally made a video talking about, what was it, the uh, quality control of Chrome Update. And... No more than like two days after I made that video, they released a statement about how the cards were all bad and how they're giving stores like 20% credit back on the boxes and things like that. So like, I guarantee you, like someone over there definitely watches my videos to see if there's any errors with their products because you know, you all know I'll talk about it. You know, I'm the most honest card content creator out there probably i'd like to i'd like to think i am i don't sugarcoat nothing I, I never did never will when the company messes up i will let you know when they do something good i will let you know like today they actually uh, confirmed that there was a problem with draft they didn't have to make a statement about it but they did because i guess a lot of other collectors uh, emailed them and everything so you know i mean you know when the company screws up, I'll let you know. When they don't and they do something good, I'll let you know. Same thing goes with Panini. I'm just as harsh on Panini. But with them, they have no logos and no licensing. So, like, their product is inferior as far as I'm concerned because everyone, if you look at baseball cards on the shelf, what are you going to, what are you going to, what are you going to, uh, 
gravitate towards? Tops or Panini? I mean, 9 out of 10 of you are probably going to say Tops. I could not see anybody in this comment section saying that Panini sports cards or baseball cards are better than, than Tops baseball cards because, I mean, they're like literally worthless. Like Panini baseball cards are practically worthless. Unless you pull a great auto or a, a parallel of some good rookie or something like that, you know, like as you see here, I have O'Neill Cruz Panini Autos, and I messed up the whole set. Uh, as you see, I have two Panini Autos from O'Neill Cruz right here. So, like, I will buy Panini, but at the end of the day, I think 9 out of 10 of you, if not 10 out of 10. If I surveyed 10 people in this comment section and said, what would you rather buy, a Topps baseball card or a Panini baseball card? 9 out of 10, or all of you, would definitely say Topps. But, you know, I'm... I'm just an honest guy, you know. Everyone likes to say that I'm negative, you know, I'm gripe and rip, right? But at, at the end of the day, I'm just an honest collector. I like to speak my mind. I, I like to be open about it. You know, that's what this channel is all about. This channel is about baseball card discussions and where the hobby is going, where I think it's going, where it's been, how do we... Uh, you know, how do we fix problems? You know, things like that. That's what this channel is about. And a lot of you guys love the content. So guess what? I'm not stopping the content anytime soon. The content you see and the content you have watched this last whole entire year, because I literally have now uploaded 365 consecutive videos, almost somewhere around there I've uploaded every single day for, right? You know, so, you know, you guys have watched me and I have more in the tank. I'm not stopping. The goal for 2023, I know I'm kind of going off track here at the end, but just bear with me for just one second. The goal for the end of 2023, this may sound crazy, but I think we could do it, is 10,000 subscribers. If we can get 10,000 subscribers, I might do the biggest giveaway of all time of some sort. I don't know what, but I'd really love to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. I think we could do it. I really do think we can do it. Um, you know, we have a lot of other stuff coming in the way, uh, coming on the way, I should say. We have new t-shirts coming, uh, which are really cool. I've started the design on the one that's going to be released in March. Really, really cool. I think it's going to definitely sell more than the last one. And by the way, if you still want a t-shirt, they're still on there, by the way. Um, I have something in mind. I don't want to say what it is yet, but it involves other content creators in the, in the sports card realm which I think could be really cool. So we'll see if that happens because obviously it's going to take everybody to participate. And if, if one person can't do it, then, I mean, I guess I could fill someone in, but at the same time, it would be nice because a whole group thing. So I, I just have to see where it goes. Um, I, you know, thank you guys so much for joining, like I've said in the open, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. That's just pretty much what I got to say. I hope you guys enjoy the content. We have many more packs we have left of this. We have three packs, so... Tomorrow's video is going to be the last video we do of update. Wow, that's actually crazy. I, I've been opening two packs now of this stuff for a while, ever since I've done holiday. Um, just to get these boxes open for Series 1, because I have so much 2022 product left over. Uh, i got to get out of the way. i just got to get rid of it before Series 1 comes out. So, let's see what we got here. And we have a black gold, I think. Yeah, it's definitely what that is. Michael Lorenzen, Eric Thames... Gabriel Arias, Yu Chang, X Pirate, <laughs> Brad Miller. Let's see who we get. Please be a rookie. And that is Mike Trout. So, you know what? Mike Trout, I'll take it. Because Mike Trout is awesome. You can't, there's Torkelson. You can't go wrong with Mike Trout. I might actually top load that just because it's Mike Trout. Mike Trout's Mike Trout, and he's awesome. So, that's actually pretty cool. The only black gold we've gotten out of this, this uh, hobby box. I think I got two the last, the last box, I think I got two, um, so I have no idea, so let's see what we get out of this pack, probably just a base pack, it looks like it anyways, it could be, no, oh, there's 87 in there, Pavetta, Rodon, Shane Boz, X-Pirate, Taylor Walls, Joe Ryan, Roberto Perez, we got... Pinto, no idea who that is. Uh, there's that Shane McClanahan, all star starter for the AL. We got hey Tatis, pretty cool. A lot of people don't like Tatis now, but you know what? I'm still supporting him because honestly, I think it was just a genuine mistake. I think 
Now the doctors of the Padres could have advised him. Maybe he went against them. I have no idea, but I think it was just a genuine mistake what he did. And people are going to boo him, obviously. People were booing him well before this in, you know, NL West uh, stadiums anyways. So, you know, that doesn't really matter. I think he will have a great season regardless. And I think he just made a genuine mistake because a lot of those medications for that, what he had, have that medicine in there. So I think it was honestly just a genuine mistake on his part. But to wrap up, to wrap up this video, thank you guys so much for joining. Let's try to get 110 likes on this video, or I should say 100. And... Make sure to do all the giveaway steps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.